Uka chaka, uka, uka, uka chaka, uka. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Duckman95 here. Today, we're going to be doing a PC versus console comparison. I'm going to be using the Xbox One and um, a standard PC that's around the same price as the Xbox One. So about $350, more like $300 to $350. And I have some gameplay of both, and we're going to look at like the aesthetics of both. And yeah, let's just see how it goes. So here we have the Xbox One. I know looks really aren't the most important thing of this, but I mean, it's, I mean, I, I guess it doesn't matter that much, but I just want to show like what one would look like anyway. So here's the Xbox One. It's pretty standard. It's a box. It has a nice little really change in there, a little indent. Um, it has enough ventilation to keep itself, you know, running smooth. It's not loud or anything. It keeps a um, pretty steady, like, so it's like nothing, not loud or anything. Unfortunately, it is like glossy, so it gets all scratched up. But you might put like a skin or something on that. Um, it has like not physical buttons, the touch sensitive ones for those. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the Xbox One. Let's go take a look at like a PC. Not all PCs look like that. Know that for sure. This is. This is just old. PCs look something a little bit closer to this. This is still kind of getting outdated now. This old Dell looking thing. Um, I mean, it has like a white side and a metal front. Um, but the most computers now are like black, like mainly black, so more like a matte color. Some of it's kind of glossy, but I mean, we have your standard, um, excuse me, <laughs> eject button, your standard all your standard DVD drives. This even has a floppy disk still. I think this is like the last models that had the floppy disks. Um, these are headphone jacks. These are USBs. They're taped off because those didn't work or somehow got broken. Um, so yeah, it's nice to have P uh, those in the front. In the back, there's a ton of ports, but clearly I wouldn't be able to get back there. And moving this is probably not the best idea either, unless I want catastrophe. But all you really need to know is that there's like VGA ports on newer ones. There's HDMI ports, USBs, headphone jacks, uh, DVI, uh, printer jack, um, and uh, probably like another separate VGA port for like a sub roller for speakers like this. And um, yeah, standard thing is these like a keyboard, mouse, and yeah and a monitor for that. Surprise, surprise. So now that we looked at the Xbox One like looks and the PC looks, we can now look into the gameplay, the most important part. How do they perform? So I'm going to play Black Ops 3 on Xbox One and Black Ops 2 on um, a PC. That's just the gameplay I could find because obviously I don't have this specific PC. Um, and yeah. We're going to compare frame rates. Of course, like, the Xbox One is going to have better frame rates because it's Black Ops 3. It's a newer game. Well, it might have better frame rates. But you're just going to be able to compare, like, like looking at a PC graphics is much different than looking at a console graphics because you can get pretty good graphics cards in a PC and you can get really good looks out of them. But the console is no joke either. So it shouldn't be trifled. Okay, so here we are on Xbox One. So as you can see from the start, it looks pretty good, you know? The colors and saturation are there. Everything moves pretty fluently. Uh, I really like how this looks on Xbox One. A lot of people don't like it on Xbox One because the DLC is coming out on PS4. But I mean, it doesn't really look any different from on PS4 or anything. And everything's still there. Um, everything moves and shatters like in this case shattering the same way um I don't really see anything else wrong with this this looks perfectly fine so let's see what it looks like on the PC alright here we go this is on the PC the channel link to this guy's name will be in the description below if you want to check him out I'm just borrowing his gameplay so here it is on uh, the PC. This is Black Ops 2. You can run the settings on medium at 60 frames per second. This is the boson. Um, 
about 300 bucks, 300 bucks I think this build was. And, I mean, as you can see, everything's still very fluid. This is everything you'd probably see on a console, but even better. Because the RAM is higher and the processor's better than what it would be on, like, an Xbox 360, this is meeting more, like, next-gen level requirements. This is definitely a lot better than what you would see on, like, a PS3. But an Xbox One, though, would you see this? Probably yes. Would you expect to see this all the time? Um, yeah. But is this better is question. Well, that one is iffy, but honestly, they're pretty close, so I'd say they're the same. So there you have it, guys. A PC versus Xbox, well, console. And, yeah, that's what it is. You can judge it for your own self. Um, I'm gonna, of course, leave that guy's channel down in the description below. And, yeah, so... They're pretty pretty close. Um, I'd say um, I don't really have like a favorite over the other. They're both pretty good. Uh, PC's definitely better than the last gen consoles. Um, and this is of course around the three hundred fifty dollar mark. Just want to make sure that's clear. So they're about the same. And yeah, I mean you're getting you're getting pretty good performance out of both, but. There's not really one that's better that I can say. If I had a game that I can compare from both, uh, then it'd probably be a little more specific. Of course, the graphics do look a little more fluid on um, PC, I'd have to say. But there are other problems with each of them. There's their own good parts for both also. I mean, it's really up to you to judge. But, I mean, that's just my opinion. So, eh. thanks guys for watching. And yeah, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos like this, leave a comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you again in the next video.